going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Janeiro's TV and today we're going to do another jewelry review from probably my favorite jewelry store online, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're going through this whole COVID thing, so people are doing a lot of shopping online. So, I haven't been at you guys for a while with a jewelry review, but today I decided to go ahead and huh, do one. So today, we're going to be doing the GoldenGuilt.com. That's right. GoldenGuilt. That's Golden, G-I-L-T, dot com. Mini Jesus piece. All right? Golden Guilt, one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Their response time is great. Their customer service is great. I get my pieces usually within like week, week and a half. You can always put that express on it to get your pieces. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, I always like to introduce my velvet pad. Why do I have this velvet pad? Because a lot of my jewelry is gold plated, silver plated, stainless steel, and I don't like my jewelry banging on hard surfaces. Whether I have real jewelry or plated jewelry or stainless steel jewelry, if you really want to take care of your jewelry, you want it to last a while, you want to get a velvet pad. You can order one of these on Amazon.com. Okay? As you can see, my velvet pad is very dirty. I'm going to be going over what I do to take care of my jewelry and maintain the quality of my jewelry. All right? I always like to tell people why I buy plated jewelry. Because I don't like to spend money on things that depreciate. I like to spend money on things that appreciate. Unless somebody's walking around with some type of jewelry microscope, no one can tell whether or not your jewelry is real or fake. If it's quality jewelry. I also like to tell my viewers that there's no such thing as fake jewelry. Because you can't make a piece out of solid gold. Because gold is too soft of a metal. It has to be mixed with something. It's all about the percentage of gold that a piece of jewelry has in it. It just so happened that the jewelry that I have is plated and has a very thin layer of gold and silver. Now my stainless steel jewelry, it doesn't tarnish. That's what I love about my stainless steel jewelry. I try to make sure all my pieces is prong set. So if you're out there looking for plated jewelry or inexpensive jewelry, to make it look quality, what you wanna do is make sure the diamonds and the stones are at least AAA CZs and up, simulated diamonds, and they're prong set. So that's a little knowledge for you about getting inexpensive jewelry, all right? With that said, let's get right into it, all right? I have my Michael Jackson hee hee gloves right here. Da, da, ba, do, da, ki, da, ba, do, right here, you know what I mean? And I have these because you have oil and moisture in your hands if you want your jewelry to last long. You will try your best to lower the probability of touching your plated jewelry with your hands. Once again, you can see my velvet pad that I have, my velvet jewelry pad is very dirty. So what I like to do is take this uh, lint brush right here and just do a brief brush on the pad to get as much as I can off. Whatever's left on the pad, I take this uh, fur lint roller I have, you can get this from anywhere. Dollar store, Amazon.com, whatever your forte is. You might ask, why do I do go through all that with my velvet pad using the, 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 the lint brush and the lint roller? Well, I have animals. I don't like fur and lint inside my prong set jewelry. Sometimes the prong set, the little spikes that hold the diamonds in, fur and lint gets in between those. So. That's why I do what I do, okay? I believe in saving money and time. Now, I've already unboxed my mini Jesus piece, so we're not gonna go through the whole unboxing thing. If you wanna see some unboxing, you just wanna have fun with that, please take a look at my other videos. We're gonna get right into it. Golden Gill always provides you with this nice uh, pouch. Sometimes they have leather pouches. I see they step their game up. But when I bought this piece, it came with a Golden Guild, like a suede feel bag. I like to keep my jewelry in here because I got so many pieces. This is the way I organize my pieces and I know at least what's what. Even if I got three or four pieces from the same website, at least I know I can narrow it down and say I want to rock my Golden Guild piece and, you know, keep it organized like that. 
and I can see Golden Guild is on the bag and I gotta figure out which piece it is that I got from Golden Guild but I like to I'm very organized I like to organize it so these bags can come in handy you can put change in them or whatever after you're done with them it's just a beautiful beautiful extra now with the Golden Guild mini Jesus piece it comes with a uh, rope chain so what I decided to do was get my own chain because I wanted a chain to match this piece that I have. So I got me a Franco chain, I just went on Amazon.com and ordered one and make sure it's the same carriage. So if this is 18 carat, you wanna match it up with an 18 carat. If it's 24 carat, you wanna match it up with 24 carat plated. That's another golden nugget for y'all, all right? But this is a beautiful piece. Um, it's the mini Jesus piece from goldenguild.com. And what I like about this piece is it's little, and usually little pieces don't have a lot of detail, but this one has a lot of detail in it, a lot of detail. I also like it because on the back, they got their logo on there, the double G. I thought that was slick. As I look at this piece right here, um, it's got diamonds and Jesus crown. He has dark blue eyes. He has like a kinky beard and it's almost like he got, you know, kinky hair. And it's just a nice, small piece. Very, very nice, small piece. This piece includes hand-placed uh, quadruple grade CZ diamonds. Ion plated with 18 karat gold, one of the most advanced surface finishes in the trade. It's always shipped with a velour pouch. The size of the pendant is 1.5 inches, including the clasp. Uh, the neck size is three millimeters and the available necklace options are 20 22 24 and 26 and remember uh, ion plating makes the gold plating more doable more wear resistant and also has a higher brightness golden guilt usually gives a 60-day warranty so if you have any problems or issues with it they are very good at responding so that's what i enjoy about golden guilt their customer service is great they even send me text messages telling me when inventory comes in if you sign up for the VIP but Golden Guild is the bomb man so I like rocking this piece. This to me, I would rock this with a t-shirt. I wouldn't rock this with no hoodie, you know, so it can really stand out. I would even rock this with another mini Jesus piece. Or I might just rock two of these. You know, I think that's dope. When I rock like two chains, I always rock, like if I got a 22 inch chain, I rock the same piece or same size piece with like a 24 inch chain. You know what I mean? So I won't look like a clown. I got two 20, two inch chains rocking you know i don't like to do that i don't want to go overboard and wear a 22 inch chain with a 26 inch chain i kind of like for them to be kind of like together you know what i mean but usually if i wear this alone on a nice sunny day i rock it by itself it's beautiful the sun shine on them cz's and and like i said people can't tell if they real diamonds or not man ain't nobody walking around with a diamond tester not in my circle at least I'm you know a little bit older so you know ain't nobody really concerned about whether or not my piece is fully gold or not so I love it I think it's beautiful um, I haven't had this piece wear and tear on me at all um, I, it has no tarnish on it I've had it for a while no complaints man no complaints yet now I don't rock it every day sweating in and go swimming with it so far it's, it's a good piece from the times that i did rock it all right so that's that all right so now that we check that piece out y'all go check out goldenguild.com i'm about to show you how i actually put my jewelry up okay what i always like to do is i use an anti-tarnish bag you can order these from amazon.com inside the anti-tarnish bag i have an anti-tarnish stri strip from three millimeter you can order that on amazon.com and that preserves my jewelry i'll stick that in the bag I'm gonna put this chain that originally came with goldenguild.com along with the chain that I bought, Franco chain, to go on that piece along with the piece. Make sure ain't no air in there. Roll it up like that. Make sure it's ziplock in. Open that bag up and voila, you have 
boom, your piece preserved. And when I'm ready to rock that, whether it be a year from now, six months from now, three months from now, don't matter. It's gonna look brand new. Check out the other stuff that I got on my page. If you're not subscribed, please do. Give this a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel. God bless y'all. Peace.